placements, uh, as songwriter, producer placements, how did you all acquire placements? How did you get them? Uh, how did you, what were the steps to that? Sometimes they, uh, they, they begin with personal relationships. I don't want anybody to downplay personal relationships because it begins with that. You hear people say, it's all in who you know. There's, there's some credence to that because you have to know somebody who can help move you forward. I was fortunate. Um, when I submitted uh, my music for, uh, for Erica for uh, Badawism, um, I had my fingers crossed. Why? Because if it sells, fine. If it flies, fine. But if that thing bottomed out, it would have been those Dallas producers. Get it? It's a gamble. So everybody's trying to get placement and uh, while that's one of the priorities, some of the music sound like people trying to get placements. That's why I don't listen to a whole lot of radio because from a formula standpoint, any record that you hear on the radio, we could stay up in this room three hours with the people on this stage and we could replicate it or create our own. That's not the hard stuff. And I don't knock the people who do it because one point I wanted to make tonight is people have a lot to say about the uh, uh, young producers or beat makers who are doing all, <laughs> all that they can to be a musician when they haven't been had access to instruments, et cetera, et cetera. So I understand the lingo making beats. Somebody will say, who made that beat? And all they hear is strings, violins, <laughs> acoustic guitars, who made that beat? So I understand that part of it is terminology, but it's my job to educate them that there's, there's no beat there, there's no beat. So people have to start taking music um, seriously. So when you say okay. tracks, tracks, it sounds, you know, that's not the same as composition. This is a classically trained musician. Don't talk to him about beats or you get shut down, as you can see. I don't make beats. Don't make beats. I, I, read, I read a very interesting article about how the reason the music model has changed is because the way the music gets out there changed. There used to be a time where you could go, you had a hot record and you could go to K104, even in this small little trailer, and be like, man, I got this song, I want you to check it, just check it out. And back then, it'd be Greg Street or DJ Ushay, I thought, you know, okay, cool. And they might play it, and they might put it in the Saturday night. Remember that, the Saturday night mix? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, or bump it up, it up, it. you know, you know, you know, uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, uh, play, play it or uh, kill it, kill it, kill it or feel it. Feel it or kill it. Hit it or quit it. You know, they had those formats. Here, here's, here's the thing. Which points back to what Gino was saying earlier. The music that you don't like, all this kind of stuff, there's a whole nother subculture of music. I'm gonna I'm put a pin right there and I'm gonna come right back to it. The one reason why we don't like the music that we hear on the radio is because it's not meant for the everyday working class person. The article in the Wall Street Journal pointed out specifically the only way songs get broken now, and when I, when I, when I say broken, I mean, you know, they get out to the masses. They have to start out in the strip club first. And if, and if it works in the strip club, then it'll work out in, 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 in reg, on regular radio. That's how all this stuff happens. That's how you got all these. Everybody's doing, everybody's doing a mixtape. Everybody's doing a mixtape. Oh, you know what? Okay, cool. Now they sell my mixtape. Why are they doing mixtapes? Because I can do this mixtape, put it out real quick, and I can go to Magic City or Onyx and all kind of stuff and sell it for my trunk. And now I don't have to get a record company anything. I can break my single at the strip club if I go pay the DJ 10 G's to play it. You see what I'm saying? Payola has taken a whole nother scheme. It ain't about going to DJ U, say DJ U, and, and Grace Street, that kind of stuff. No, if I can go to Onyx and drop them 5 G's, then I can get my song played on the radio. Now, pulling that pin back out of the subculture, here's the thing. The minute that we realize as musicians in this subculture, that we have the most power, everything will change. You see what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. We sat at the Grammys. We went up against Miguel, Hiatus Coyote, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 And that song, Relena Hathaway won a Grammy with no radio play. It was never played in a strip club. It was never played in any public medium other than 
YouTube. And it was 20 years old. And it's so. And it was a song that was it was a song that Brenda Russell she recorded and never put out. You know what I'm saying? Here, this is what I'm saying. The subculture is real. What do I mean by that? That means the dollar in your pocket, and you find mama. The dollar in your pocket, the dollar in your pocket, the dollar in your pocket, the eyes in your head, and the brain in your the brain in your head. That's what works. All the rest of the stuff. And the reason why it works is because there's a subculture that lives from here. They live from here. You're going you're gonna to hear a hotline bling on the radio 15,000 times. Trust me, it played 30,000 times in every strip club in America, if not beyond. But the thing about it is, somebody had to put it out there to make them keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Now, bring it back to the subculture. You ready? Come a little closer. This right here is a subculture because if Gino Young decides that he wants to do a show here and he packs this place out right here, that's the subculture. Why? Because the dollar is here. You see what I'm saying? The do I, I, know, I, know, I know I'm kind of going on a rant, but, but, I, but, I, but I, 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 want to, I want to make you aware because the because thing about it is from your, from your first question, you know, about, about you, know, you know, how do you get placements or how do you do, man, place yourself. You are your own placement. Put your record out, go do a photo shoot. Now, here's the thing. You talking about how do you, how do you, do, how do you get past the do-it-yourself mentality? He said you got to have community, which means you got to understand the word no sometimes because everything you do ain't going to be perfect. Do you know how many versions of Smile there is from Kirk Franklin? It's about nine different versions. I could put them all out right now as a mixtape and probably play it at a strip club. <laughs> Seriously, you know what I'm saying? You know, until you get that one that works. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know I mean, how many, how many verses are so, so many songs? We were working with, 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 with Timbaland on, 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 on Tink's record. You know what I'm saying? How many, ver how many different verses of these songs are until you find the one that works? So when we talk about the whole do-it-yourself method, well, if I'm sitting there and I'm working and I just got stuff in the, hey man, can you check this out for me? Yeah, yeah. Does it sound good? What should I do? And if they say, for one, your vocals sound like you recorded them in the bathroom, your kick drums sound like you recorded on I-35, you know what I'm saying, you know, and everything else, ain't none of your background vocals in tune, what you gonna do with this? And if you walk away talking about, man, he ain't shit, then that's your fault. Because somebody just gave you constructive criticism, and, and the ego in your head will not allow you to receive that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he hating on me. He don't like my, I'm anointed, Doc. He don't like my gift. No, let me tell you something. <laughs> no, 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 no. Talk about I, it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, 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 he hating on me. He don't like my, he don't like my, I'm anointed. You know, no. And I, I always hear some gospel music, you know, you know, God anointed me to do this. No, God anointed to do something else. You just chose to do this shit right here. That greatest lesson was just proved two days ago by a veteran artist that I, that I work with. You know, he was trying to do his music for an artist that wasn't his target audience. And he walks off the stage and he was deflated. I was like, why are you so mad? What's wrong with you? They didn't receive it. They're not your target audience. They wouldn't even listen to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, it's like, like you gotta find your target audience, you know, and you matriculate everything you have on that audience. That's what I'm saying as far as the artist. Speak on it, boy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying as, as, as far as the artistry. This dude right here, he has an instrumental record, you know what I'm saying, you know, full of drums. So I don't expect a saxophone player to be like, man, you heard that 45 by Ghost Nose? No, it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But the same token, every drummer all around the world, particularly South America, Africa, where drums are prevalent, they're going to be into the record. You got to know your target audience. Uh, all right. So much love to y'all. We hope that some information was given that, that helped, or at least some passionate imploring was, was poured out that let you know that there was uh, some dopeness there. Please check out chosenmusicians.com too, is doing some phenomenal work. Woo! They're here in the house, okay? Here. This is a free event. We just have to come to that and talk to you. Not to check out. Stuff you like. Shout out, Mark. You're only as good as your parties. <laughs> you're only as good as your parties. Turn up with your party.